Friends, welcome back to another episode of Ancient Man Attempts to Learn Ancient Game. I am your host, Ancient Man. Okay, we're playing the London system today. We are playing Chala Pandit from India. Let's see how we do. Very, very early F65. I will admit. Okay, this is uh, the point at which I make my hole. The man likes his pawns. He really, really, really likes his pawns. <laughs> Yay. No, I can't go that way. Gosh, do I even want to put the knight out anymore? I don't even know if I want to put the knight out anymore. Right? I mean, he just attacks and then the knight doesn't have a safe square, so... Hmm... Be interessant. That's all I can say. This is new. This is new to me. Chalak is onto something. Oh, I almost had the check there. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. It would be pretty funny to... um. Actually, how would he stop this? If I sack this bishop, he takes. And then I pin his rook here. Wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be an idea? No, because legit, how does he actually stop that? So look, check. He can either take, right, or leave it, which I don't think he will. He can only take with the rook. Then I take his pawn. His rook gets pinned to g6. The only thing he can really protect it with is his king. Ah, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do I make this move for entertainment? Oh my. Oh my. The entertainment factor is crazy on this one. He's going to have to take his king out. Ah. Even if he takes his king out, I can still deliver check. He's going to be forced to move back, and then I can still win the rook. Ugh. I don't know, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm committing to this plan 100. No! <laughs> he wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Feels so bad. That feels so, so bad. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I'm okay with it. Hmm. He'll probably just move his rook and then I just did all that for nothing. I mean his knight's on a really is on a really bad square. Wow, here I thought I was so cool. What a waste. I'll probably move his rook to h6. <laughs> and then I'm going to run skis with the king skis. All that for nothing. Whoops. <laughs> hmm. No, oh, no, I can't do that either. Uh, I don't have a light square bishop anymore. Darn, feels bad. Mm. This game is going to fall apart fast, isn't it? Shoot. Okay. We've got to find some advantage. 
Hmm. Can live with this. No, can't do that. Try to move his knight away somehow. Mm hmm. I think this is actually good for me. Mm. I gotta get my my knight out, and I gotta castle up like ASAP. The bishop's just going to be in such a bad spot, though, if I move. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to not recapture here, just because it's such a bad spot. I don't know, I gotta get my knight out. I gotta get my knight out in castle and then move this other knight, too. Hmm. I mean, the piece is still pinned, so I have to maybe just go put pressure on it somehow, I don't know. But I have to castle, though. I have to castle. We're going to turn this around. I don't care. Um, what's more important here? Taking this pawn? I wonder if I just push up here, honestly. I don't want to let him have the pawn. Let me just push the pawn up. This game is so, so bad. While I push the pawn up, I get... Ch no, I don't quite get checked. Actually... Even if I trade off here, he takes with the pawn. Oh, but the thing is, I think he's going to be taking with the... No, he can't take with the queen because it's defended. YOLO. Yeah, if he takes with the pawn, the pawn is blocking the queen there. I have to cast so bad. No. Uh, this is actually okay. Still protected. I mean, let's think about this. The king is protecting here, so maybe I just leave the king. I'm just going to do some wild plays this game, man. I'm going to go I'm going to go do some wild plays. I think it's crazy enough to work. I just have a feeling somehow this is going to work out. The poor knight on D2 is like sweating bullets. <laughs> it's okay. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> He's frazzled. <laughs> Chalak is frazzled. I think he has to like throw 
I think he has to throw the light square bishop out and protect this piece. Man, what a bishop sack on g6, huh? He's got to bring his light square bishop out. That's like the only thing he can do, right? Or he has to just move his king and unpin it. I mean, he's not castling kingside, and I don't think he really wants to castle queen, queenside. Queen, clan. I can't say queen, Reese. Uh, can't say queen these days. It's hard for some reason. I think he has to go bishop f5. I think that's like the only move. He's, he has to add, an, add another defender there. Either move his king out or move his bishop out. Putting pressure on the pin piece. Pressure on the pin piece, that's the idea. What's it going to be, Chalak? I got way too excited at the beginning. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie. He found it. <laughs> he found it. <laughs> no. Chalak found it. Well, either way, I can win a rook here, so... I can win a rook and then, um, I guess that's good. Let's see if I have anything else more deadlier. I mean, it's kind of cracked, but if I can get my queen over here, I'm going to be in pretty good shape. So if I go queen h7... He can just block in with a dark square bishop, so that's not that interesting. I mean, I guess I could pin his piece this way as well, but then he just moves the rook. I don't know. I'm gaining two points of material here, so ultimately I'm happy. You know? So maybe I just go... Maybe I just go sort of count my my uh my my winnings here and just and just leave. Yeah. Let's just do that. This pawn is looking a bit sad. Let's make a sensible move. I'm gonna go f3. Oh yeah, actually if I go f3, I can start to take out his other pieces here. Yeah, legit though? Well, oh no, I should have protected the knight so I could castle. Ooh, bit of a mistake. Not gonna lie. Ah, I kind of made a blunder there. Yeah, that was a bit, bit of a blunder. Bit of a blunder. I, I should have protected. Um, I should have protected the knight and then castled. No, I want to keep the bishop. 
Okay, so I know this looks like a silly move, but I want to pin his knight. Defend my knight. And defend my pawn at the same time. And now I want a castle. Okay, so he castles as well. So he's got two attackers coming here. Mm, I do have a free pawn, but then he's just going to win a pawn too. Let's see, so check this way. Hmm. Let's just play smartly. Really? So he wants to go there. I think he's just protecting his, um, or just saving his pawn there. Question is, do I want to let him take? I don't like this back rank business. Hmm, whatever, he can't recapture it, so. I need to start pressuring his queen at some point, too. Okay, so he's going to move this piece somewhere. I do have check and takes. Like losing a pawn out of it. It's not the end of the. Oh no, I can't take that. The knight's defending there. Just kidding. I mm, wonder if I can make this bishop more useful at this point. Could block in this way. I'll just go attack his queen. Don't think too hard. I know he's going to move his knight, but... I think if he moves his knight... No, I can't do my nice check fork thing here now. He'll be forced to move his queen around somewhere. Hmm. Honestly, it would be okay to just trade off. Uh, I just need to be mindful of the fact that he can get his rook onto the h rank or the h file excuse me h rank what am i saying i mean fortunately for him like all his pieces are pretty well protected So he does have that going for him. Um, I have a nice uh, fork next move as well, depending on where he moves his queen. He could probably go, I want to go there. Hmm. Let me think. Maybe we do just trade off. Let me think. So check. Can't really scope this. Oh, uh, check and he takes, and then I'm just kind of losing a piece here. Hmm. Maybe I just offer the trade. No, that's bad. Can't offer the trade this way. Um, actually, you know what? This is fine. I think, I think I'm just winning a piece here, no matter what, because after he takes, I have uh, the pawn takes here. So I think this is fine. Yeah, he's losing a rook this way, so I can live with that. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Hmm. Probably want to get the rook out on the open file. Uh, I have a knight trade here. Okay. Do not blunder the rooks. You can have that pawn. I'm winning a bishop. Mm, let me think here. Uh, I need to be careful here. I could have won a bishop, but it's going to come at the cost of a rook. I don't want to do that. Kind of want to stagger these just so I don't get forked. I think if I go e1, he has to be on like d3. He's got a pawn, but I don't know. I think I'm just winning like way more here. Mm, this is fine. I'm winning. Winning a bishop here. Oh wow, I could win the dark square bishop too. I wonder what's better. Probably doesn't matter at this point, does it? Let's see, if I have a dark square bishop... I think I'm okay. Protecting this pawn as well. Okay, so stay on the light squares, that's the idea. Check takes. Can you guys believe that this all came from that really silly bishop sacrifice on g6? Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> He's got a free pawn here. <laughs> uh. Um, yes. Oh, is that a check? Uh, shoot. Probably go to the light squares, huh? Okay. Okay. Mm. Don't want to get like too comfortable. Yeah, he's got that, but then I have something else for him, which is, I don't actually mind sacking one of my rooks at this point. It's going to be pretty hard to lose. Also, depending on where he goes, if he doesn't attack this rook, I can just move over. But I'm probably just going to sack a rook and just try to win with the pawns. Yeah, so I'll sack a rook. I don't mind. Whatever.
No, it's basically just GG. How do we not do this in a silly, silly, silly way? Okay, how do we want to do this? Don't want to lose the pawns. <laughs> End games. I need him to, yeah, I wish I could pick him, let's see. So he can't get to this pawn. He can't get to this fish, this uh, pawn either. Okay, so that's protected. I think here he'll be forced to go over to C4. Think about this. I'll be forced to move to C4 or like over here or B5. I just want to run the A pawn up the board. That's all I want to do. So this is protected as well. Okay, so now I should just be able to run the A pawn up the board comfortably. Probably thought about this a lot harder than I needed to, but whatever. Shalok does not give up, man. I'd actually be thrilled if he took that bishop. <laughs> I would be so, so happy if he took it. It's a liability. Oh, but he actually can't take it because the rook is defending. Mm. Shalok, you gotta give up, man. Well, I feel a lot better about this game than the previous game. The one where I basically put the queen onto f1 and then lost on h2 to like a really silly knight queen checkmate. I do feel better about this game. Yeah, the bishop sack definitely wasn't the play though. He's committed. Okay, he can go to H5 here. And we just ladder made him. Something like that. I guess he could always go that way. Yeah, that's true. That is a move. Um, how do I get this liability out of my life? <laughs> I 
I suppose I could just get this thing. Where do I want to put it? I want to tuck it deep into a corner somewhere. Come on, Shalok. You're killing me, brother. Uh, let's see. Maybe I could, like, corner him in a bit. The last thing I want here is stalemate, so bear with me. Okay, f4. He goes h2. No, wait. He can't go h2, but he can go g2. I, I really just want to get this bishop out of the way. I know you guys are going to give me a hard time for it, but... Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tuck the bishop over here on a3. He still has g2. That's a viable move. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this piece just so we don't get any stalemate business. And now we should just be able to ladder him this way. Slowly but surely. Killing me, Smalls. Okay, now he's got. F1 next. Probably, probably for safety, I'll just put my knight up or uh, my rook up here. Yeah, just get the rook and the queen away from the king. I go this way. Okay. This way. And this way, and we get checkmate. All right. GG, Chalock. Pleasure playing with you. Let's do the game review. Three great moves. One blunder. I wonder if the blunder is at the very start there. 64, pretty rough. Played like a 700. Well, that seems fitting. He played like a 100. I don't know. Seems a little extreme engine. Wait, did I just plain have mate? No, I didn't have mate, did I? Hold on. H5. He can still get out of this, d7. Uh, bishop, what? Bishop g3, okay. Oh, right. h5, yeah, I should have just done that a long time ago. Whoops. Queen e8, just offer the trade. Suppose he doesn't want to play that, what does he do? And suppose I give him the check here. h4. I guess the check this way doesn't really make any sense, does it? Sure, so I guess knight h6, so the queen can't check this way. Okay. Well, that's all good. Whoops. <laughs> Bishop g6 is a blunder. Uh, I don't know, man. I thought it was a funny move. That move was strictly for entertainment. That was the idea. Okay, so taking the pawn here was not the idea. And this was a great move here, yeah. 
So queen a5, this miss is a better way to develop a queen off its starting square. Sure. Yeah. Knight takes on e5 is a great move threatening that pinned piece. It's going to win you material. Yeah, so the hide kind of swung on this. Yeah, so he had to add defenders, so it was either protect with the king. I guess he had protect with the queen. I didn't notice that during the game. And then also just protect with the bishop, which uh, that was the one move that I did notice. Uh, bishop f5, which he ended up playing. But yeah, and then here I sort of wasted a tempo on f3 when I should have went back to e2, just so I could at least defend this knight. And then castle, so he doesn't just win a knight for free. Also offering the trade here was reasonable as well. This is a great move, really. Takes on g4 is a great move. Past pawns have a clear path to promotion. Sure. <clears> hmm. <throat> I see. g5 and then what? Why g5? Queen b4. Queen takes on g6. Hmm. Kind of a fair trade though, right? I mean, he would have taken there. Oh, queen d8. Yeah, he has to protect this rook now. And then what? Queen g5 check. Rook e7. Okay. Okay, c1. Okay, sure, protect. Losing a pawn. Oh, no, I guess not losing a pawn. Knight's defending there. Uh, which one's this? Knight c7. I see. a3. Knight e6. Oh, sure. Just going for the trade. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay, so interesting continuation there. Yeah, I thought this trade was, like, way more favorable because, yeah, A, he should have taken with the knight, so it would have been at least an even trade. So, like, let's look here. In this position, I'm, I'm up three, so takes, takes, um, takes, takes, and then, uh, what, uh, like, protect? Protect this way, I suppose. So I guess I guess it still would have been um what do you call it not an even trade if we went that way but I wouldn't have gained more material um I don't know what the exact word for that is but here I basically ended up with a eight point advantage so I, yeah I basically won a rook out of that exchange so he shouldn't have taken with the rook he should have just taken with the knight there it's kind of the big idea. All good moves here. Uh, moving to the H file. Yeah, I guess that would have been better. All right, because he had the check there. He wouldn't have had that check. All right, because if I went H1, he checks. And then I could take, he could take. But then I can just move over so easily and it probably would have ended a bit faster. Yeah, now with two rooks in this position, it would have been very difficult for him. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So h1 was the idea there. This is so bad, huh? Oh, sure. Get the rook out into the open file. And then just like boom, boom, like mate in a few. Sure. Knight checks. Oh, yeah. Well, then he, doesn't he just have this uh, sick move here? Oh, no, not even, right? This takes on f4, right? Well, he was in a very tough spot in this position. Yeah, I figured trading the... I figured... Oh, yeah, that's what I should have done. I see, I see. Push the pawn up first. 
Yeah, I think sacking the rook there was totally acceptable. Lots of bad plays here. I just wanted to run the pawn up the board. I was I was really hoping he would take that bishop. People don't want to seem to take bishops in the end games. And then it was mate. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, it was a fun game. Um, kind of a silly idea at the start here. <laughs> I just failed to recognize <laughs> this move. <laughs> 97. <laughs> Whatever, I still thought it was funny. <laughs> the game still went pretty well considering this uh, really sort of odd sacrifice. <laughs> Either way, GG, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next game.